crochet friends today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this bikini it's very easy and fast to do I will give you all the instructions step by step to do in a medium large size as I am um, so I think the, the uh, cups of this bikini are for a medium size but the um, panties are for a large anyway you can fit to every size because of these very comfortable straps bands to be fit to every size the same for the neck and the shoulders so if you are ready we can start For my bikini, I will use this yarn from Ice Yarns. These are the features viscose color, 50 per, uh, sorry, 40% viscose, 60% polyamide. This is very soft and light to do a bikini. I will work this a yarn with a D crochet hook, three millimeters. Another kind of yarn that you can use for your bikini is this one, baby antibacterial. This is, uh, you see, a hundred percent antibacterial drelon. It's very soft and comfortable. And I think it is suitable for uh, a bikini. You can use it uh, with the same crochet hook size as the other one. Let's start our bikini with a slip knot. Insert your hook in this loop, tighten it so strong as you need like that and now chain 16 and now additional chain two yarn over one two three and four one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and do one double crochet in each one of the next chains Ready for the second row, chain three and turn into the next stitch one double crochet and now do one double crochet in each one of the next stitches. Do the last double crochet of this round in the chain number th three you did at the beginning of the previous row. Remember that you must do 16 double crochet for each row. It is important, be careful, uh, you have to count at every row that the number of the stitches is okay, correct. You have to do four rows like that. 
from row number five, I will start increasing to create this necessary curve for my bikini. Ready for row number five. Chain three to start. Turn your work into the next stitch, the second one, two double crochet. I will do one increase at the beginning of this row and one increase at the end of this row. My first increase is ready. Now into the next stitches, please do just one double crochet in each one. Like that. And stop just two stitches before the end. In the stitch in the one so i have two stitches left before the end into the next stitch my increase doing one and two double crochet into the same stitch and then my last double crochet into the last stitch of this row now i have to keep working like that increasing at each new row at the beginning and at the end exactly like i show you right now so increase till row number 14 at the end of round 14 you'll get 36 double crochet Okay, I am at row 14, starting row number 14, chain 3 to start, turn your work. Now you see that I did at every row an increase at the beginning and one at the end, and this was the curve I get for my bikini. So I'm doing the last increasing into the second stitch one and two double crochet and now one double crochet in each one of the next stitches i will do another increase at the end of this row two stitches before the end one and two in the first two double crochet one and two and just one double crochet into the last stitch like that okay at round 15 we are going to change the increasing method we are going to increase two stitches at the beginning and two stitches at the end of each row let's start chain three and turn into the second stitch one and two double crochet into the next one just one double crochet into the next one two double crochet in this way i increase two stitches at the beginning now let continue working just one double crochet in each one of the next stitches and stop four stitches before the end 
four stitches before the end the end one two three and four into the first one the first increase doing one and two double crochet into the next one just one double crochet into the next one two one and two my second increase for the end of this row and into the last stitch just one from round 19 now i will do only one increase at the beginning one at the end into the second stitch at the beginning and the other one two stitches before the end Continue with this uh, uh, increasing pattern till row number 23. Ready for row number 24. We stop to do increasing. Chain 4 and turn. Skip the next stitch into the next one, one double crochet, chain one. Yarn over, skip one stitch into the next one, one double crochet, chain one. Yarn over, skip the next stitch into the next one, one double crochet, chain one. Continue till the end of this row. At the end of this row, chain one, skip this time two stitches because, because I don't have the right number. So one and two and into the last stitch do one double crochet. I have one more stitch but it doesn't matter. Now to start the new round, chain four and turn one double crochet in the double crochet of previous round and chain one and continue doing that all across the row At the end of this second row with net stitch you can cut and fasten off your yarn like that because the first part of our bikini is okay now we have to restart working on the bottom side to do the back side Insert your hook into the first stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through like that and now chain 3 to start and now one double crochet in each one of the stitches below. totally six rows with 
16 double crochet. Now I'm ready to start increasing from row number 7 to row number 11 included I will increase one stitch at the beginning and one stitch at the end. I show you how. Chain 3 and turn into the second stitch one double crochet and now into the next one two double crochet that's my first increase for the beginning of this row now continue doing one double crochet in each one of the next stitches and stop just before three stitches before the end Okay, I have one, two, three stitches left into the first one, my increase for the end of this row, doing one and two double crochet into the same stitch and then one double crochet in each one of the next two stitches, one and two that's the way i have to increase at each row till row 11 included from row number 12 we have to increase two stitches at the beginning and two stitches at the end I show you how chain three and turn one double crochet into the next stitch two double crochet into the next one into the next stitch again two double crochet And then one double crochet in each one of the stitches below. You have to stop working um, four stitches before the end. Four stitches before the end one two three and four in the first one I'm gonna do two double crochet one and two that's my third increase in the next one two double crochet one and two that's my fourth increase and into the uh, last two stitches just one you have to increase two stitches at the beginning and two stitches at the end from row number 12 to row number 14 then you have to change increasing pattern and you have to increase only one stitch at the beginning and one stitch at the end from row 15 to row 27. Ok, 
okay so we have to increase two stitches um sorry just one stitch at the beginning and one stitch at the end till row number 27 you see now please do two rows without increasing but just doing one double crochet in each one of the stitches below and you have to do that for row 28 and row 29 okay uh, we worked without increasing till row number 29 so now we can finish with the last two rows number 30 and 31 doing two rows of net stitch like we did for the front side Okay, so our panty for uh, our bikini is ready. Now we have to work for the chest. We have to prepare two uh, parts exactly the same. I started from the first one. I have to do two pieces like that. Now I show you how to do together the second piece. Okay, I'm going to start my second cup for my bra. Um, in my case, I'm doing a medium size. Uh, so if you want to do a larger size, please add two more chains than me. I'm starting with 35 chains. Add two chains more for each additional size. Okay, I did my thirty five chains. Now, additional chain one to start and in the second chain from the hook one single crochet now i'm going to do one single crochet in each one of the next chains totally i'll get 35 single crochet ready for the second row chain three which takes the place of the first double crochet and turn into the second stitch one double crochet into the next one one double crochet and so on you have to do one double crochet in each one of the stitches below till number 17 when you are stop at stitch number 18 because in this stitch we have to do one increase okay I am at the stitch number 18 and here in this stitch i will do my increase if you started with a different number of chains of course you have to do the same increasing i'm doing now in the stitch you have exactly in the center of this row for example if you did 37 chains the middle stitch is the number 19 okay okay so in the stitch number 18 in my case i'm gonna do 
three double crochet into the same stitch one two and three I'm doing that for giving a cup shape you see to my bikini to my bra so it is necessary in the center stitch to do this kind of increase doing three double crochet into the same stitch after that into the next stitches just one double crochet exactly another 17 double crochet into the next um, 17 stitches ready for the next row chain three and turn now you have to work doing just one double crochet in each one of the next stitches till you get the center stitch of this row and the center stitch of the this row you see is where i did my three double crochet the center stitch is the second double crochet in the middle here in this stitch i will work again three double crochet into the same stitch okay so now work your double crochet till you reach the middle stitch the center stitch and I will show you how to work. Okay, I reached, you see, the central stitch. I put a stitch marker in it so that I can recognize this stitch. If you uh, think that you cannot see the uh, exact correct stitch where you have to increase please put a stitch, ma stitch marker like I did so I did my last double crochet now remove the stitch marker and I know that in this central stitch I have to do again one two three double crochet into the same stitch and put the stitch marker now into the second one of these one two three double crochet now continue working doing just one double crochet in each one of the next stitches till you get the end of this row okay i am at row number four you see i reached the center stitch and now i'm gonna repeat the same increasing one two and three double crochet into the same stitch and i put one two three my stitch marker into the second one then i keep working i'm going to work one double crochet in each one of the next next stitches till i get the end of this row you have to work the same and um, do the same increasing method till row number seven included i completed my seven rows and that's the shape i get now i'm ready for row number eight and i will start decreasing in order you see to get this shape okay so 
three the chains to start which takes the place of the first double crochet turn your work and now into the second stitch one double crochet now into the next one the third stitch of this row i have to decrease insert your hook into the stitch and do an halfway double crochet two loops on your hook yarn over insert your hook into the cha the stitch number four and do another halfway double crochet three loops on my hook yarn over pull the yarn through the loops and that's my two halfway double crochet finished together that's my first increase now i have to do another increase like that into the next uh, sorry not into the next stitches but at the end of this uh, row now i show you how to decrease at the end of this row after your first decrease continue doing just one double crochet in each one of the next stitches like that and stop five stitches before the end When we are around the central area, we don't have to increase any more, but we just have to do one double crochet in each one of the stitches below. Remember to stop five stitches before the end. Five stitches before the end into the next one just one single uh, double crochet sorry now into the next two stitches I have to decrease so in the first one one halfway double crochet yarn over into the next stitch one halfway double crochet yarn over pick up the yarn pull it through and finish together both double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next one one double crochet round up number eight is completed ready for round number nine now the decreasing system method will be just a little bit different i will do two decreases at at the beginning of each row and two decreases at the end of each row from row number nine to row number 17 included i show you how to work round nine and you will do the same at each row till row number 17 included chain three to start turn your work into the second stitch one double crochet into the stitch number three and four two halfway double crochet close finish together the first halfway double crochet into the next stitch the second halfway double crochet yarn over pull the yarn through the stitch and finish together like that first decrease now in the next two stitches i have to do again the same one halfway double crochet into the next stitch one halfway double crochet pick up the yarn pull it through the loops and finish together second decrease now continue working doing just one double crochet in each one of the next stitches and stop six stitches before 
the end. Six stitches before the end, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We are ready now to do the other two decreases we have to do at the end of each row. One halfway double crochet into the next stitch, one halfway double crochet into the next one, yarn over. Pass it through the three loops and finish together both halfway double crochet. Do the same into the next two stitches. One halfway, second halfway, finish together. Finish this row with one double crochet and one double crochet into the last two stitches. Do the same for all rows till row number 17 included. At the end of round 17 we have 8 stitches. We are ready for the row number 19. Chain 3 and turn into the second stitch one double crochet so that I'm starting this row with one and two double crochet. Now chain one, yarn over, skip the next stitch into the next one, one double crochet and now into the next one, one double crochet again. Chain one, skip one stitch into the last two stitches left one and two double crochet. Round 19 start with chain four and one double crochet into the first of the next two double crochet. Chain one, skip one, two, three stitches into the last one one double crochet. Now uh, uh, repeat chain three and four and turn one double crochet into the double crochet below, chain one and one double crochet into the chain number three of previous round. Repeat again one, two, three, four chains and turn one double crochet into the double crochet below, chain one, skip one chain into the next one, one double crochet. Last row is the number 22, chain one and turn into the ne next chain one space one double crochet one uh, sorry one single crochet one single crochet into the next stitch finish with one single crochet and now cut the yarn and fasten it off because your first cap is completed Okay, my friends, we are ready now to start the last refining rounds around the panties and around the two cups because you know we have to uh, join the two cups and create the shoulder straps, the straps for the back side, and of course, also the straps here for the hip of the panty okay um, so we start here from the front side of the panties take a new yarn and do a slip note like that insert your hook into the loop start from here from the 
front side insert your hook into the first stitch and do one single crochet like that and now one single crochet in each one of the next stitches all across this row till the end of this row of course at the end of this row now chain 50 3 4 5 6 and so on till you get 50 chains when your 50 chains are completed now yarn over and in the fourth chain from the hook one double crochet and now one double crochet in each one of the next chains stop three chains before the end you have to stop three chains before the end one two and three now from here yarn over skip this space and the next one and in this stitch do one double crochet like that into the stitch you have here under the two rows with net stitch now continue doing single crochet all across this row around your panties and work all across this row single crochet till you reach this side this stitch on the back side of your panties this is the back side okay when you get the last stitch before the two net rows on the back side please start doing 50 chains then go back work back double crochet one in each one of the chains you are doing and stop three chains before the end like you did on the other side okay you see that i have only three chains left now from here chain three insert your hook in the third chain in the chain number three and do one single crochet this is the chain number three of the second net stitch row okay now continue doing one single crochet in each one of the stitches below till the end of this row here on the back side at the end of this row you will do chain 50 then come back doing double crochet one in each one of the next chains stop three chains before the end and join exactly like you did like i explained you here for the front side do you remember i explained you how to join then work 
work with single crochet all the way around till you reach this point here where you have to create the fourth and last strap for your panty. Okay, this is my last strap for my panty. Okay, the last one, two, three chains. And here I have the starting point, do you remember? Now I have to yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch and do one double crochet and then slip stitch to join into the first single crochet you did at the beginning like that. Now your uh, bikini, your panty is completed you can cut the yarn and fasten, fasten it off. Okay, you have to create a foundation chain of 95 chains. Then you have to take one of the two cups, insert your hook into one of the, the first stitch at the bottom of this cup and do one single crochet now continue working one single crochet in each one of the stitches Continue this way. You have to stop just one stitch before the last one. Okay, now we have just one stitch left. Insert your hook into the last stitch and do a halfway single crochet remaining with just two loops on your hook then take the other cup and insert your hook into the first stitch at the bottom of this cap pick up the yarn pull it through three loops on your hook yarn over pass it through the three loops and join together the two cups. Now continue working one single crochet in each one of the stitches on this edge till the last stitch and when you are you have finished you continue doing 95 chains so that you are doing exactly the same you did at the beginning okay i did 95 chains and now from here additional chain one and so now I'm gonna do one single crochet in each one of these 95 chains. Okay, when you did, you have done all the single crochet into the chains below. Now continue doing single crochet one 
around this edge of the cup till you reach the top then you will do another 95 chains here for the neck then you will go back doing crochet single crochet here then around the other cup till you reach the top then another 95 chains then around the other edge of the cup and then you will finish doing single crochet on the rest of the chains okay when you are at the end of the first edge now you see you have here one two three stitches you're gonna do one single crochet into the first stitch on the top sorry okay one single crochet in the first stitch of the top then from here 95 chains okay after your chains are completed i decided then to chain 75 not 95 because 95 was too long so i think it's better 75 after that you're gonna do single crochet one in each one of the chains so that in this way you are working and coming back to sorry to the top here to the top of your cup okay when your single crochet are completed now skip the next stitch on the top go into the next one insert your hook and do one single crochet like that and now continue working your refining single crochet all across the other edge of the cup in this way reaching here the corner between one cup and the other one when you are here at the corner between one cup and the other you're gonna do into the last stitch you're gonna insert your hook pick up the yarn pull it through and keep two loops on your hook now insert your hook into the first stitch on the other cup do the same pick up the yarn pull it through yarn over pull the yarn through these three loops and then continue working single crochet one in each one of the next stitches here across this edge when you are here of course you're gonna do 75 chains uh, coming back single crochet one in each one of the 75 chains and then you're gonna complete your refining single crochet here on the other side of the cup and when you are back here at the end of this edge of course you are gonna work 95 single crochet into this uh, other chains